Oh, what's up everybody i hope you guys are having a good day so far so obviously here's the ford so today we got a few things planned we're taking the rims and tires off and putting the truck on blocks so we can take the rims in to fargo and have them rebalance because i think some of the weights came off because there's a little bit of a shake when you get cruising they are pretty big too. they're 24 by 14s with 37 13 fives so that could be it too but i've rode in trucks that have bigger rims than this and they ride a lot smoother so we're gonna get this dialed in but i just wanted to start that off we also have to take the windshield tint off because the cops here absolutely hate it and then also need to put mount the front license plate and then take the leftover grill light i have on tried doing sparksmith grill lights and then ended up stripping one and then ordered one and then never sent one but not a big deal i talked to them we got it figured out but anyway i'm gonna end up ordering a new grill anyway new headlights and new front bumper i kind of want to do an off-road front bumper on this i think it'd look a pretty dang mean also want to upgrade all the suspension do one piece drag links and everything dual steering stabilizers so yeah i'm gonna flip the camera around so i can kind of show you guys what i'm talking about so yeah, here's the here's the rim and tires if i haven't gave you good in-depth they're four giottos i have the caps we vinyl wrapped them black i just haven't put them on yet because i've been waiting but so here's here's the front end of the truck so I want to do black headlights, not tinted, just black housing with clear side marker. I want to do the, it's, it says Ford going down the middle, but it has work light notches going across the top. I believe there's three or four. I want to switch those out to white. Then it has slots down the bottom. So I'm going to take these. These are the grill lights too I was talking about. So I'm going to take these and put them in there. And then I want to do like a move front bumper on this thing. I think that would look really, really, really good. So I want to do that. Another thing I want to do is I want to wait for my shit to come in because it still hasn't. Because I'm waiting on the cap and new glass because that's all shattered out. But I also want to upgrade these bump stops right here. Make them longer and get some black ones. So yeah, that's what I'd really like to do. Also, come back here. Another thing I'd like to do is swap out these tail lights for some aftermarket ones and have the badge painted to match and then fix the bumper cap yeah i'd really like to get that going recorded some tiktoks and some other stuff for instagram that's why she's pretty muddy so i have to clean it up i haven't really been driving it either as you can tell the weather's been just absolutely amazing that's a joke <laughs> anyway so yeah, I just want to get these rims off. Got to get a breaker bar with an extension and my lug nut gun. And then start taking these off and put it on blocks. Another thing I want to do is I want to upgrade these rear shocks. I want to go to some resis, kind of like the front here. Something like that. E e e maybe Fox or maybe I'll switch to some Bilstein. Either way, we'll be finding out. I'm not exactly sure what I want to do yet. So yeah, just going over that. So I'm gonna set the camera up and take these rims off and do a fast forward clip for you. Quick update as we're going along with this. Not able to find my camera mount. So just gonna have to record clips here and there. I'm not gonna be able to set nothing up, sadly. Um, got two jack stands, two chunks of wood in the jack started taking the lug nuts off so just gonna keep going at it and i'll keep you guys updated hey here's three the other one's behind the truck got it all done but it's kind of sketching me out how high i was sitting on the jack stands so i decided to come up with something different with my dad's ingenuity so i'm gonna flip the camera around and show you guys what I'm i did here what i decided to do was take a board and on each side and a old disc off a plow for a tractor and fillet how that one is on that and let the brake rotor sit on top of it with the jack underneath it and that looks like this that way i'm not stressing nothing the jacks underneath there so when i'm ready to jack it up and put the wheels back on and it's all safe 
I just feel a lot better about it being like this than if it was just way up in the air sitting funky on two wimpy jack stands because I'm a broke boy. But yeah, that's what I came up hey with. Everybody. Update. So, got the wheels and tires off and loaded in the back of my buddy's pickup because right now all I have is the Ford and my Cummins is still down, obviously. We got a little bit to do. We're gonna be making very good progress on that in the next few days because I'm off, gonna be off for nine days, so, or eight, eight days. So it's gonna really help with the progress, getting that done. And I might have a couple buddies come over and help too, so that'll be awesome. But yeah, we are loaded up, ready to go. Got snacks, all the good stuff for the road trip to Fargo. And then, uh, yeah, get these tires remounted and balanced because they got weights placed all over on these wheels and the truck shakes like 50 to 60. And I know for a fact it's the wheels because I've had everything else tested and checked on the suspension right, right when I bought it. So in Manhattan, Kansas, so I know it's good. So I, I'm assuming it's the wheels. And then if it's not, I also have one of my caps. Well, here's the caps I was telling you guys about that I have. I vinyl wrapped in black, but there's weight, or not weights. They're like uh, plastic rings, like hub-centric hub rings that can go in there. So maybe that has to play with it because I didn't, I never have, or I don't have those. So maybe that's it. And then if this don't fix it, I'm going to get dual steering stabilizers. And I'm going to have to get different wheels because the shake is pretty annoying. But I'm, I'm thinking this is going to fix it. They're 4G autos. They're not, no, nothing cheap. I got them with the truck. So I don't think they're messed up. But like I said, we're going to see. I've never had 24s before. And these are 24 by 14s, like I stated. That's the biggest I've had so far. So we're just going to see what happens and keep you filmed in tomorrow. I'm going to do a little bit of POV going down the road and get some good shots. So stay tuned. Good morning, everybody. It is 5.35 in the morning. Actually, no, it's 5.50. As you can hear, you probably, you probably can't hear because it it's so quiet. Truck's running, loaded up, and ready to head out. Waiting on a really good friend of mine you know who you are to show up and we're gonna head on out and get this thing rolling stay tuned it'll be a good day what's up everybody so as you can see tire rims and tires are back in the truck i'll put in a couple pictures and a short little clip of them getting done currently eating some breakfast got the good old chick-fil-a and then um We'll be heading home and getting the wheels back on and see how it all rides and hopefully it's dialed in now. I'm hoping, if not, not not the end of the world. I'll have to just get some steering stabilizers and and uh, see if any of the the um, ball joints or pinions or anything like that are uh, wore out on the suspension of my truck. So yeah, we will get that rolling. All right, everybody, we're home. There's the good old Ruby. So. They, I don't know if you can find it, they marked the tires for me, where how they balance them and stuff. So I was lining all the rims up and everything. And then we have to bring the good old dudes back. So we'll do that then after I get all of this lined up and everything. Yeah, overall though, went well. Everything worked out. I don't think the, the truck will ever be this low again. Well, let's just switch the wheels out again, which probably is going to happen. But we'll cross that bridge when we get there. What's up, everybody? So today, I just wanted to go over a couple things with the truck. The wheels, 100% dialed in now. No more shaking, nothing. Works awesome. As you can tell, another stupidly cold day here. Got more snow. Absolutely sucks. Hate to see it. What do you do, though? Um, everything worked great. We cleaned out the bed took the tires out and everything i had in there brought another load of stuff to the shop for the cummins yeah can't complain thing is an absolute animal so yeah just wanted to give a quick update on that and an outro soon i'll be coming up with like an intro and outro video or a clip to throw in there so content's gonna start getting better i just gotta figure everything out it's all new to me so yeah thank you guys we are cleaning these up so you can see this is how I got them. Pretty rusty and dull. Give them the old 
what's up? Nice and shiny again. We got 31 of these to do and I got another set on the way because technically my truck needs 32, but moving right along, buddy. Got them all cleaned up. They look 10 times better than what they were. Very happy with how well they shined up. Dang, even in some of the lighting, it looks like they got a little bit of discoloration. Like, you know, like those FMF pipes when you heat them up. I actually like it. Probably going to powder coat them to match the truck eventually. But for now, these are awesome. So, got the battery charged. We're going to get this all ready and outside and get them on the truck. Let's get it.